Hey guys, I'm back. It's Mac Frederick, founder of Momentum Digital, a digital marketing agency in Philadelphia. I want to talk about these key new features to Google My Business. For my SEOs, my marketers, and my small business owners out there, there has been a recent update uh, where you can add a business description and services, uh, both of which that are in beta. You may or may not see it uh, on the back end here. Uh, we can add a description. I don't have the services uh, where you can offer your services. Uh, but some do have that in beta. Now, this was recently released by Search Engine Land uh, last week. Barry Schwartz, who's on top of his SEO game, uh, released this update. And they're talking about it on Twitter. Uh, you can jump in here and see that Google's now talking about this. Follow Google My Biz uh, with all the updates. And so what you can do, this used to actually be around, for those who know, this used to be around in 2016. Uh, key feature back in 2016, they removed this, and now it's been added back, as well as a couple other things. Um, what you can also add now is you can add an appointment URL, so people can schedule from certain uh, small businesses. Uh, you can add the business description, of course. You can add a start date, uh, November 1st, 2016. You know, I'd put that there. Um, I don't have the services section. But what you can also do, a couple other updates here with Google My Business that are extremely relevant. Um, the services, if I can show you here, um, you should be able to add services for some select businesses. Uh, let me pull that up. I don't have it, but check because you might have that, and I think it's a really cool feature. Um, I have some good articles I'll link in the description below. But most importantly, um, these key features, sorry I'm jumping around here, uh, the opening date, you have this new dashboard panel I'll show you that has posts, website update, appointment booking, and messaging. These all came out mid-2017. Uh, link in my description to the other YouTube video I put out. Uh, the dashboard, it just looks completely different here. If you go to home, uh, you can see that there's this new layout where you, you should pretty much post to this you know, weekly. Some people do daily or monthly. This adds more content, which makes you more relevant. Talk about you know certain things going on in your industry updates, sales, promotions, um, add photos as much as you can. This makes you you know, stand out more, be more relevant. Google understands you're adding more content. And then the business description here, that new feature that I mentioned, you have 750 characters. So what you wanna do is you know, write about your business, um, you know, what makes you stand out, what makes you unique, um, give as much context that's relevant there. And just stay on top of this. You know, I give myself a weekly reminder to jump into Google My Business accounts for clients. Uh, there's other third parties you can use, uh, such as Yext or Sign Up or you know Moz Local, all of which that are great uh, if you want to run you know multiple local Google Business accounts, listings, directories, other citations. Um, only things I didn't talk about here, you know, you can do the posts with events and sales and promotions. Responding to reviews is insanely important. So once per week, I also jump in here, um, you know, uh, talk about, you know, what people are posting about, you know, what they're reviewing you for. Uh, for bad reviews, you know, you want to respond to these as well. Um, you want to, you know, empathize with the customer and make sure you're doing everything you can to, uh, for Google to see, most importantly. Um, lastly, we have the messaging, appointment booking. These things are pretty new and cool, starting in 2017. You can add a phone number here. As long as it can send and receive text, you can use Google Allo, Google Voice. Um, you can have an automated message. Um, this is pretty cool. But most importantly, the business description. This is now going to show up uh, most likely, if you can see here, um, it's going to show up right under your business listing. Let's see if I have a good example for you. Uh, right here, it explains uh, what this is going to look like. You just add it right in here. Um, so I'll share all these links. Um, remember, by doing this, by adding this, by stay staying relevant and consistent and adding as much as you can on Google My Business, um, you're going to show up higher for various keywords, search queries. Um, you're going to get more calls, more directions, more people clicking to your website more overall traffic, which then in turn leads to more customers and more revenue. So these are quick and easy SEO updates that everybody has to be doing. Come on, you got this. Um, so thanks so much for watching. My name is Mac Frederick. If you have any other questions about how to grow your business online, if you don't believe me, let me give you an example. Let's do, you know, cell phone repair shops in Philadelphia. 
Granted, I've searched this keyword term before. Search it on, on local, uh, search it on mobile. You're gonna see you're gonna show up here. Um, just do it everything you can, and all this stuff is free, and it's easy, and it gets you more business. So pay attention to that. Local is always gonna be relevant, um, so please remember that. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, leave a question, and if I can help, I absolutely will. Thanks once again, Mac Frederick, Momentum Digital. Give us a follow, and we'll talk to you soon.